So, I'm sure you understand that it's important to be physically active and healthy. It's a pretty obvious thing to say, isn't it? Like saying you'd rather live on land than underwater, or you'd rather call your friends than fax them. But just how important is being active and healthy? Well, let's look. In the entire world, physical inactivity is the fourth leading risk factor for mortality behind high blood pressure, tobacco use, and high blood sugar. Physical inactivity is the main cause for about a quarter of all deaths caused by breast and colon cancer, diabetes, and heart disease. Now, people aged 5 to 17 should accumulate 60 minutes of moderate to vigorous physical activity in a day. But currently, only 7% of youth are getting the recommended amount of physical activity. We have a similar problem when we examine healthy living. Less than half of children and youth are getting the recommended number of servings of fruit and vegetable daily. Without change, these children will have lifespans that are three to four years shorter than today's adults due to obesity. So, it's clearly very important to be physically active and healthy and to work towards getting better at it. But here's the problem. Before you can make changes and get to a position where you're physically active and making healthy decisions, you've got to learn something called health and physical literacy. What's that, you ask? <clears throat> health literacy is the ability to develop critical thinking skills to make good decisions about your health. Physical literacy is the ability to move with competence and confidence in a wide variety of physical activities. It's like this. Say you want to drive a car. You don't just hop in the seat and start zipping around. You've got some basic skills to learn first. Steering, stopping, parallel parking. Okay, maybe you still can't parallel park. The point is you have to learn the basic skills and strategies before you can drive. Your health is the same way. Let's take physical literacy. To feel comfortable and confident being physically active, and therefore more likely to be regularly active, you need to learn fundamental movement skills like how to dodge, hop, skip, jump, kick, and overhand throw. Once you're comfortable and confident with these skills, you can start to apply various strategies in physical activities. For example, when playing sledge hockey, you may be playing defense, so learning to defend a space will be a very useful strategy. This applies to hockey and basketball too. When you play bocce or wheelchair curling, avoiding obstacles will help you to score points, and learning aim and accuracy helps with high ally and squash. It's the same if you want to be healthy. To be health literate, you have to learn basic, critical, and creative thinking skills like planning, processing, drawing conclusions, and reflecting. Through these, you develop the ability to make healthy choices like eating well, avoiding smoking, and making good decisions about your emotional well-being. Making good choices isn't like flipping on a switch. We learn how to do it. Health and physical literacy get you to a place where you're competent and confident in physical activities and making healthy, smart choices about your life. This will help you get better grades, make friends, and just generally make you a happier, healthier person.